Hey guys, welcome back to the Beetle Shelf. This is just a quick video to showcase what a uh, more developed Laconis mazama larva can do to, to wood. This uh, used to just be chunks of hard wood and compost that it uh, went and grinded up. So we're going to uh, kind of check it out a little bit. You can see it's very fine, ground up. Um, this is a piece of the wood that's just been kind of chewed at. You can see it's very soft. Um, but there's lots of little flakes and stuff from it, larvae chewing. Um, so we're going to put more chunks in. There's the larvae. Oh, it's gotten really big. I don't want to get bitten. It's pretty aggressive. Um, I'll use a little shovel. Wow, it's gotten really big. Just probably molted to a L2. So... Again, this is the Conus Mizama. Um, it's most likely a male, judging by the size of the mandibles relative to the head capsule, pretty big. Uh, so, really awesome to see that it's healthy. Um, yeah, way, way cool. You can tell that the larvae get, I mean, pretty big to be able to have the nutrients and uh, reserves necessary to making uh, even a small beetle. So. We'll put him there. Um, kind of scoop out some of that original substrate. You can see it's just really fine stuff. It's ground up. So that's our goal for all of these larvae is to kind of... So I'll put that chunk back in. I have some other chunks in here that I've been saving to get ground up. So I'll put those in. I'll put a little bit of this original stuff in it so it feels comfortable and then mist it just to keep it moist it's growing really well though put another big chunk in there that's left cool and then I'll take some of my other flakes that I want to get ground up. Pop those in there. Get them nice and damp. They're pretty dry so you can really wet, you know, wet them up a little bit. Okay, cool. More. Put some of the original in there. Some of this other substrate. Dampen it. And then finish it off with one last layer of this. Uh, we'll put him in the center first, actually. Got really, really big. This is an L2 now because the head capsule is so large. So we'll put him in there face down so you can kind of burrow a little bit. Put some more. Put some more chunks around him. And then dampen him up. Okay. So yeah that's our uh, that's our setup right now. I'll put the lid back on. But you can tell he's growing really well. I collected him when he was a small L1 uh, on the 8th of July. So it's been over a month and he's grown a ton on this stuff. So really happy to see that. So just a bit more ground substrate in here. So and we'll use this ground up substrate right here for uh, our rhino or... Uh, flower beetle larvae, they'll love that, nice and fine, really ground up for them, so, yep, uh, yep, that is that, keep checking back in for more um, info on this guy later as he starts growing and progressing, thanks for watching.